Luxury, comfort, convenience. Everything you need under one roof. Four Points by Sheridan Tallahassee Downtown. The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. How schools are graded has been controversial since the system began more than a decade ago. This year is no different. These calculations will focus more closely on student performance. Uh, I the 130-page bill being considered is needed because the state's switching from the FCAT to yet another to-be-developed test. 25-year classroom veteran Patricia Crutcher drove five hours on spring break to tell lawmakers the current test is making her kids physically ill. Another student got so nauseous that I had to get the nurse to take her out of the room. A third student got a nosebleed. Sandra Butler came from Panama City to say the same thing. We're, we're all for accountability, but it needs to be the right accountability. You need to go into the classroom and find out exactly what's going on, not the grades because of a one-day test. The bottom line, schools won't be penalized for one year as Florida switches standardized tests. I am with Florida PTA. The one-year pass on penalties is what brought the Florida PTA to speak against the bill. It's, we just think it's just too fast. It's moving too fast. But school boards say a year is enough time. And this would allow us at the local level to establish a baseline next year and not be penalized as, 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 as the uh, grades go up or down. And while many of the specifics may change as the bill moves on, the one thing it does that won't change is affirm the state's commitment to keep testing students' progress. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Vassalinda reporting.